you're planning an outdoor space, but you're planning it because you know what? You love to cook. You love to have your friends and family over and darn it, you're good at it too. So why not take it out of the house and bring it outside? It's a whole different experience for the, for the chef and the family, right? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about this outdoor kitchen and how we designed it. So that if you're planning an outdoor kitchen, you can be thinking along these lines as well to make sure you get the maximum use out of this space as much as you can throughout the year. So the first thing we need to be thinking about is this proximity in the overall outdoor living space. So just like inside of a house where the kitchen is kind of the center hub of the entire entertaining you know, universe, if you will, during a party, same thing goes for outside. So we kept this centralized. We have the kitchen here, we have dining there, we have some lounging over by the fire pit. So no matter what's going on here in the space, the griller can be part of the conversation. There's nothing worse than having the grill put all the way around the other side of the house or way down beyond the patio, uh, out of the way, where the griller has to go all the way down there to cook the food and then come all the way back and miss the entire party and all those fun conversations. So it's important to be thinking about its proximity. So close to the door so you can come in and out from the house and also centered within the space here. So those are what, that's one big thing you need to be thinking about. Next is, is providing a grill space that's large enough to cook for a larger group, if that's what you do, if not a little smaller, depending on the size of your family and what you're gonna normally use it for. This happens to be a 40 inch wide grill and uh, you know no grill is, is any better than the space next to it where you can actually prep. So we have a large space here. We can put your plates and trays out, take the meat or veg and put it on or take it off. You have lots of space to do that right here. Now, once that's all done, you have your food cooked. Now it's time to wash your dishes, right? So you could take them all back in the house and out, or we could do some type of a sink system like this, where you have a nice spigot for water. You turn it on, you can wash everything up. You could set it back out here to dry. Just like inside the house, you can have that outside. Now in this situation, and with most of our outdoor kitchens, we try to do a color match, like a Granitex finish sink. That's an undermount, not one of those ugly stainless steel set-ins in the top that just, it looks horrible. So we do something like this that fits in nice. It flows really well with this antiqued uh, granite on the very top so that it feels like it's an inside kitchen outside. There's no reason why you have to settle with a crappy look outside just because the person you're working with doesn't know that these other options are available. So we have this all built in, it's our standard. We, we do that, we try to color match as much as we can or we contrast with a darker bowl and a lighter top or vice versa in order to make it fun, right? So that's, that's the space. So now you can wash your, your dishes and, and you're good to go. You don't have to carry that back in the house. We also include having a good uh, outlet source. So you can plug in a cell phone if you want to and set it on top. You can do a blender, a griddle. You can do a toaster oven out here if you wanna have you know, something in the morning with the family and do breakfast outside. We have usually one on either side in order to make sure you can plug it in no matter where you are and you're not limited by the location. We also have a nice refrigerator in here so you can keep your beverages, your condiments, all that stuff right here at your point of need so you can grab and you can move them out to the table and come right back in. You don't have to worry about bringing them in and out. Now, over here, there's also storage underneath. So if you pull this out, there's gonna be a garbage can inside. So as you're cooking, you can pull it out, throw things in, slide it back in. You don't have to have an ugly garbage can sitting on your deck just to clutter the space up. So that's there. We have some other storage for the different uh, utensils that are needed for the grill and also for the grill cover itself. Uh, so when you're picking your countertop, this is also something to be thinking about. Outside, if you were to pick a shiny granite, uh, you know, granite with a, a finished, smooth finish on top that's glossy like you normally have inside the house, if you do that outside, as the sun, you can see it right now in my eyes, as the sun comes down and hits that, imagine if that was shiny it would blind you. It would hit it and come right back up into your eyes. So inside of a house, you don't really notice it that much, but outside it is horrible. So what we do is a, either an antique finish like you see here, or we do it as a hone finish, which does not have that polish or that shine. And the goal is to not blind you when you're outside because it will, that sun will blind you. So guys, if you're thinking about doing an outdoor kitchen, these are some things to keep in mind. Again, proximity to the door, make sure that you have enough space to cook, enough space to prep, place to wash up. We have some refrigeration built in. Now that's something you can either do or not do. That's really up to you. Some people say, you know what? I just, I'm so close to my, my refrigerator. I can just bring it in and out. Others want it close so they can just grab a beverage and set it on the table and be done. You just have to think about how you're going to use the space because the easier it is for you to use this space, the more often you're going to use it. And when you do that, it makes sense to invest in it. If you aren't going to use it more than a few times in the year, why spend all the money? Why not just put out a nice set in place grill and be done with it? Right? So it's really a matter of use. That's what we always look at here at Master Plan is making sure whatever you're investing in that you're going to use it as much as absolutely possible. So if you're planning an outdoor kitchen area and you need some help, reach out to us here. You can take a look at our website first. 
see if anything in there jumps out at you. If it does, reach out to us. Our website is mymasterplan.com. We love helping people on their outdoor living journeys, help them make great decisions that they're gonna love for years and years to come.